Hello, Patrick. Hello, Thomas. And hello to all of you out there. And if you've tuned in today, the cars with us need no introduction. But we're going to do it anyway. Absolutely. Because in 1976, a small team of engineers went into the skunk works of Wolfsburg and they dropped a high power, high power for the day, engine into a standard Golf. They created the GTI, the father of the hot hatchback. Fast forward to today, we've got the 2022 eighth generation Golf GTI. It's everything and all that. And since you're Canadian, right here, we've got the ultimate Canadian sports car. It's the Golf R. Take everything that's good about the GTI, turn it up to 10, add all wheel drive, you've got everything you need. We're talking Golf R, we're talking Golf GTI. Let's get into it. The original had 1.6 liters and 110 horsepower. And by the time it reached Canada, we bumped it up to 1.8 liters, but dropped the horsepower to 90. Patrick, tell me things have changed in the last four decades. Thomas, the only thing that it really has in common is that it is a four cylinder engine driving the front wheels. This new generation of the EA888 two liter turbocharged engine now makes 241 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. And of course, because it's turbocharged, that's right off idle. You've got incredible responsiveness around town. That's hooked up to either a six speed manual gearbox, my personal preference, or a lightning quick seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Patrick, that's a lot of go, but when you've got that much power, you wanna get it to the ground. How do we make this thing ride and how do we make it stop? Well, let's start with what's up front underneath the engine. We have what we call our VAQ, electronically controlled limited slip differential. This allows the engine to put all of that torque to the ground effectively, whether you're accelerating in a straight line or coming out of a corner. We also have these incredible 19 inch wheels, which if selected, come with high performance summer tires. That's pretty good. And I'll tell you, my original car was a 1976 Rabbit, which I painted in the garage and used book binding tape to make look like a GTI. It was a far cry from this, but it had some of the looks at least. Tell me about the looks of this GTI. Well, the GTI is all about heritage. As you mentioned, we're now in our eighth generation of this car, dating back over 45 years for the nameplate. And all of them have had a few things in common, starting right up front with this beautiful red pinstripe in the front grille, GTI badge proudly displayed up there. And of course, we now also have red accents throughout the car, whether it's these badges on the doors that we call flitzes or the lovely red brake calipers. Patrick, I've heard you say before that light is the new chrome, and I noticed we've got a beautiful light signature at the front of the car. Headlights seem to be a little bit better than they used to be. Just a little bit. We have standard LED headlights on all versions of the GTI. In the Autobahn and Performance trims, we have these lovely projectors. They come with the illuminated light bar that goes across the grill. And of course, we also have the greatest technology that goes along with it, including auto high beams. It's got the looks, it's got the get up and go, it's got the stop, and wow, it has the package. Let's take a look inside. We are in the best seats in the house, and when it comes to seats, wow, these do everything for me. These are my absolute favorite seats in our lineup. We have these great new integrated head restraint bucket seats for the eighth generation GTI, available, of course, in the classic plaid cloth. This has been a GTI hallmark going all the way back to the Mark I. And in fact, we'll even offer a leather delete if you want to get cloth in your top trim GTI. Well, if you're getting a GTI, you absolutely have to get this cloth trim in my opinion, but that's not just the only GTI calling card in this interior, is it Patrick? No, Thomas, you're absolutely right. If we look around the cabin, there's a variety of other signature elements, whether it's the red accents, like these elements on the back of the headrests here, or whether it's the GTI badging we see in the instruments, even these little details like the uh, honeycomb pattern in the decor of the vehicle. And not to mention the red ambient lighting found throughout the cabin, it really is GTI through and through. But probably the most important thing, if it's a GTI, is what's in your hands, Patrick. What's with this steering wheel? This lovely steering wheel, as with all GTIs in the past, is very much oriented towards driver comfort and control of the vehicle. It's now thicker, it's better sculpted, it's got the classic flat bottom, but it's also got great new features. For the first time ever in a GTI, 
keep those hands warm in the wintertime. We have a heated steering wheel. Well, pretty important when you're living in Canada when we've got about six months of cold weather every year. And steering wheel, great. Seats, great. But this dashboard, Patrick, holy cow, it's right out of the future. This certainly is one of the biggest changes with the GTI. We've really brought the car into the 21st century. In front of me, I've got an all new digital cockpit that's fully customizable, 10.25 inch display, high resolution. I've chosen to have a huge central rev counter here with my coolant and oil temperatures on one side, my boost pressure on the other, but this can be customized to show a variety of things, whether it's your navigation maps, even your driver assistance features. If I look up a little bit higher down the horizon, we have a new GTI First head up display. I can see my speed, speed limit information, even turn by turn navigation directions. And finally, in the center, this crisp 10 inch high resolution display that gives us access to all of the car's great features, including wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. And there's even a CarNet wireless connectivity system that lets me unlock the car from my phone. And don't forget the available eight speaker Harman Kardon audio system. Patrick, I like my tunes. And even though the engine on this car sounds amazing, every so often I like to pump up the jam a bit. Awesome stereo, awesome car. It really is an everyday cruiser. Why don't we take a look around back and see what we've got in terms of usability. It's got the looks, it's got the get up and go, and it certainly has the front seats, Patrick. But to be classified as an all-rounder, we've got to have some serious space in the back seat, don't we? And Thomas, that we have. Like every Golf before it, this eighth generation vehicle has a spacious back seat with plenty of room for up to four adults, five in a pinch, or in my case, two full-size child seats. And it's no penalty box back there. We've got the same lovely seat finishes, either the plaid cloth or the multi-tone leather. We've got an available heated rear seat option now. We've got rear climate control vents. We've got USB ports. If you need to carry longer items, we even have a 60-40 fold-down rear seat with a center pass-through if you want to carry skis or hockey sticks. Sounds like the GTI's got the back seat covered. And let's not forget the rear of the car because the elements of this car continue right around back. If we look at some of the unique GTI elements out back, we of course have the classic GTI emblem now placed beneath the Volkswagen logo and moved from its prior location in the corner of the deck lid. And let's not forget about the twin chromed exhaust outlets that have an incredible snarl for this eighth generation. Looks good from the outside, but how much space are we talking about here? Well, of course, when we're talking about a hot hatchback, the hatchback element of that is very important. So Thomas, why don't you use that hidden lever to open the trunk lid? I certainly will. Wouldn't it be a cool idea, Patrick, if we hid the rear view camera underneath the logo to keep it clean in inclement weather? I think you might be onto something there, Thomas. Take a look at this space. Coolers, we've got sleeping bags. I'm picturing golf bags in here, hockey bags, everything you can think of. Four passengers, all their luggage, it's good to go. The GTI is a serious all-rounder. Patrick, first GTI essentially was created in a basement. It was a secret project. This new one, wow, hits the moon. You're right, Thomas. That's really the magic of the GTI. It truly is the master of all trades. It does everything well, and you can find a lot more about it if you go to vw.ca. Check it out. I think you'll like it. Volkswagen.